Hi everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Elsie. And today we'll be teaching the first part of this month's TOEIC article, so showing you some English in the real world with a bit of a business context to it. So, what is the topic of today's lesson? It's all about getting people to pay attention to products.、Hmm. So we're going to be looking at advertising, something like that. Sort of. There are many different ways to make people pay attention to something. There are also many different groups that a company wants to notice its products. You mean apart from the customers who actually buy the items? Well, they're very important, yes. But you also want the media to、mm. pay attention.、Mm, why is that? Well, if someone on TV or online or even in the regular newspapers can talk or write about your product, they're doing your advertising work for you. Yeah. These people already have a large audience, and they are respected as a source of information. So when they talk about a product, people are more likely to believe them. Then they would believe some advert on TV or online. Exactly. If you see an ad for a restaurant, you might think,、oh, "I could go there, but maybe it's not that good." But if your friends or a food blogger whose opinion you trust says you should eat there, you're more likely to be paying attention and do what they say, right? Yeah, right. So we're going to see something like that in today's article. That's right. In day one, someone from a company will talk to an influencer,、mm -hmm. as they're known, to get them to discuss a product. Let's read through day one and see what happens. Reading. Public relations, getting the media to pay attention. Hello, hey, is this Freddie Rosevear? Yes, it is. Can I help you? This is Edward Kim from Sterling Public Relations Agency. Oh yes, you must be a PR representative. Listen, Freddie, I know you're a popular music blogger. I have a great new product you can feature. What is it? Maybe I can do some kind of video. An unboxing video will be impressive. It's a new album by the Beatles. The Beatles? They broke up 50 years ago. Yeah, of course. But do you know the album Abbey Road? It's just been reissued. It's a special edition for record collectors. What's so special about it? I have a copy of Abbey Road in my collection. I bought it 10 years ago. This one is different. The music was processed through new technology, and it sounds much better. Also, this record comes with special bonus material. Hmm. Please tell me, what's this extra stuff it comes with? Hey, I'm not going to tell you everything. Maybe you can share the surprise with your audience. So day one is a dialogue and. It's a phone call, and we know this because it starts with the description: phone rings. 电话响起 So we have two people in the dialogue.、Mm -hmm. One is Freddie, and the other is Edward. Freddie picks up the phone and says hello. And the other person, Edward, asks, "Hey, is this Freddie Rosevere?" And Freddie answers, "Yes, it is. Can I help you?" So Edward says, "This is Edward Kim from Sterling Public Relations Agency. An agency is a business or an organization that provides services for or on behalf of another group. They're kind of like the people in between. So, say you have companies that want to hire workers.、Mm -hmm. The company goes to an agency and says, 'Find me good people.'" The agency does all the work of finding the best people and then sending their details to the original company for interviews and stuff. A writer might be looking to get published, and so they contact an agency to approach publishers for them and do all that work.、Mm -hmm. Here's another example: 
Kathleen contacted the babysitting agency to find out if they had anyone free to work on Friday. Agency 代表的是代理公司或是代办机构 There are different kinds of agencies like babysitting agencies、yep. or travel agencies,、mm-hmm. 旅游代办机构 and model agencies,、mm-hmm. 模特儿经纪公司这些都是 agencies. So, what kind of agency does Edward work for? It's public relations or PR, which is the people who work in a company or as an agency and do things like dealing with the media. Putting out press releases, answering questions—basically anything that's official about what a company wants to say in public, how they deal with people in public, maybe how they contact famous people and、mm-hmm. things like that—all this kind of stuff is public relations. Public 代表公共的 ，relations 代表关系，所以 public relations 也可以简称 PR， 代表就是公关，处理公共关系之类的事物。那他们专门就是对外的形象、联络或是宣传的工作。Now often a big company would have its own PR department,、mm-hmm. uh, but some smaller companies might want to contact an agency to do their PR. Yeah. Uh, or maybe one company wants to use a PR agency in another country、mm-hmm. because that makes it easier for them to sort of advertise their products and work in a different area, something like that. So we've got、uh, Edward calling Freddie to talk PR stuff. Yes, and Freddie, hearing this, says, "Oh yes, you must be a PR representative." So a representative is a person who represents another. They kind of stand in for them. They are like, I'm this company's person, and I'm working for this company, and、mm-hmm. I'm speaking for them. For example, Edward is working for a company, or maybe even a single famous person, and he's doing business for them. He represents this company or person. He kind of says what they want and gets the right deal for them. So he is their representative. Here's another example. The basketball player's representative said the player was happy playing for his current team. Representative 代表的是代理人或代表人 A representative represents a person.、Mm-hmm. 可能代表一个人 a company, 一个公司 Or a group of people, 或是一群人。Mm-hmm. 那刚刚我们看到的动词，听到的动词 represent， 它就是代表的意思。So what does this PR representative want? Well, now they've kind of been introduced. Edward gets right into the business talk, and through this, we learn who Freddie is as well. He says, "Listen, Freddie, I know you're a popular music blogger. So a blogger is someone who writes a blog." Which is a regular online diary, or more like a personal opinion website, and often about a particular area. So you could have a personal blogger, like just writing about their own lives, or you could have one who's a bit more public, like a fashion blogger, a food blogger, and so on. They put out articles about a particular topic, and people follow them to get good opinions and reviews of things. Blogger 就是中文说的布洛克。那这个是怎么来的呢？它是由 B L O G block 这个写布洛格的动作，重复字尾 G 再加上 E R E R 表示的是动作的行为者。Freddie is a popular music blogger， 也就是很受欢迎的音乐布洛格。布洛克。Edward also says I have a great new product you can feature. Okay, so this makes sense. Maybe Edward's kind of trying to promote some kind of music. He contacts a popular blogger. If the blogger says nice things about it, it's more likely to sell more copies. Right, which is exactly what we want. Freddie asks, "What is it? Maybe I can do some kind of video. An unboxing video will be impressive." So this unboxing idea is one of the big parts of this two-day article. An unboxing video is when you buy something or you get something, and you show a video in which you open the box that it comes in, and you tell people everything that's in it and say what you think of it all. It's become quite a trend in recent times. It's especially popular with computer products, like they would open a new phone box or、mm-hmm. a 
laptop and see what they get. It's also pretty popular with games、yeah. because they come in boxes generally, and there's lots of stuff. Look at these pieces. Look at the instructions. Look at the game board. That kind of thing. You do it all on camera, and that's your unboxing video. Unboxing, just take it out of the box. Box 这边当动词哦，是装箱。那字首再加上 u n unbox， 那就是开箱。所以从拆包装开始，逐一的展示内容物，以达到宣传的效果。这样的影片叫做 unboxing video， 简称的开箱影片，或我们说的开箱文。如果是用写的话 ，And Freddie says this video will be impressive. That's right. Something that's impressive makes you go, "Wow." It's cool to look at, or cool in some other way. It makes people stop and take notice, and generally think this thing is good and worthy of attention or praise. For example, the young singer gave an impressive performance on the TV show. Impressive 这个形容词呢，代表令人印象深刻的，令人钦佩的。那如果是人感到印象深刻的，我们可以用 impressed 这个字。For example, I was impressed with her beautiful voice. 我对她优美的歌声感到印象深刻。那不管是 impressive 或是 impressed， 它们都是由 impress i m p r e s s 这个动词变过来的。So what does Edward want Freddie to talk about? He says it's a new album by the Beatles. Oh, okay. So when Freddie hears this, he says, "The Beatles, they broke up fifty years ago."、Mm-hmm. Yes,、yeah, that is true. It was in the seventies.、Uh, we use the phrasal verb "break up" when a group or a couple is no longer together. Now, it's very common to use this expression to mean two people are no longer dating. But it's also used to talk a lot about when a band of musicians stop playing music together. Break up 这个片语代表人际关系上面的结束或破裂。For example, my friend broke up with her boyfriend last night. 昨天晚上我的朋友跟她的男朋友分手了。那在课文当中呢，我们指的是乐团的解散。So if the Beatles broke up, how can they have a new album? Hmm, good question. Edward says, "Yeah, of course, but do you know the album Abbey Road? It's just been reissued." Oh, so to reissue something is when a piece of work, like a book, a record, or a movie, has already been released or issued. So that means it's been made available for the public to buy or watch. But now this is happening again. Either just to sell more, or more usually because something has been changed, like the music has been improved, or the movie is longer and changed with extra stuff, or the book has a new cover, something like that. Issue 这边当动词用，代表发行、发布。那 reissue 代表就是重新发行、再版的意思。那当我们看到动词的字首有 r e 的时候呢，它有再一次的意思在。像是 use 是使用，那 reuse 就会是再使用、再次利用。那像是 play 播放 ，replay 那就是再次播放。那回到文章来哦 ，Edward says about Abbey Road that。It's a special edition for record collectors. Okay, cool. An edition is one particular release of something. So when Abbey Road first came out, it was the original edition, and this one that we're talking about in the article is a new edition. A good example, and one that I like a lot, is the Lord of the Rings DVDs.、Mm-hmm. The first ones to come out contain the edition of the movie seen in theaters. There are also the extended editions, where the movies are longer and the DVDs have more extra features. There are also special editions with lots of artwork, more DVD extras, special DVD cases, and so on. Each one is a different edition. You can do the same thing with books, in which case you might make a change, like in our example sentence. This second edition of the textbook corrects some mistakes and contains some new information. Edition, 简单来说，它是版本的意思。And this edition of Abbey Road will be popular with record collectors. 这边的 record 它指的是唱片。That's right, and a collector is someone who collects something for a hobby. 
they try to find lots of a particular item, and especially rare or unusual types of this item. Like a comic book collector will want very old comic books, famous comic books, and rare comic books. Collector 代表是收藏家、收集者。那你把字尾 o r 去掉，你看到它的动作是 collect， 那就是收藏、收集的意思。Edward 这边就说到啦，重新发行的 Abbey Road 会受到很多唱片收藏家的欢迎。Does hearing this change Freddie's mind? Well, we see he says, "What's so special about it? I have a copy of Abbey Road in my collection, so this will be a different edition to the one he already、mm-hmm. has." Obviously, we just talked about collectors,、uh, who are people. All the things they have is their collection. A large amount of a particular thing that you keep and you take pride in, a collection of comic books or books or model soldiers or magazines from a company. As long as you have a lot of them and you're keeping them on purpose, not because you're too lazy to throw them away, <laughs> this is a collection. For example, Jim has a collection of coins from every country he has visited. 所、so, 以我们刚刚说到的 collect 动词收集、收藏 ，collector 收藏家。那这边是名词 collection 收藏品。Somebody has a collection of something 代表某人有一系列的收藏品。Freddie has a copy of Abbey Road and he also says I bought it ten years ago. But Edward isn't going to let it be. This one he says is different. The music was processed through new technology and it sounds much better. So here we're using the word process can also be said process as a verb, and the meaning is to use a computer to perform changes on the music file. So you make some sounds clearer, cut out some background noise, and so on. Often, music that was recorded a long time ago doesn't sound as good as the technology wasn't as good. So records are processed to make the sound more like what it should sound if you heard it being played. We can process other things as well, such as movie film to make the movie in color when before it was black and white, or even food. For example, the peanuts were processed to remove the oil. It means we kind of do some kind of change to it. Process 这个动词呢，代表用机器或电脑来加工处理。那这张新的。音乐版本呢，也是用新的科技处理而成的，音质也会比较好。Edward also says, also this record comes with special bonus material. We use the phrasal verb come with to show that one thing has other things included, like this burger comes with French fries. Here it's bonus material. A bonus is something extra. It's not part of the original thing you're buying, like a movie or a collection of songs. It's extra stuff that's thrown in for free with the first thing. A comes with B. 代表 A 里头会包含 B 这项物品。那这边包含的是什么呢 ？Bonus material. Bonus 它指的是惊喜、赠品或是好康。Now is Freddie more interested in this product? Well, it sounds like he needs a little bit more.、Oh. He says, "Please tell me, what's this extra stuff it comes with?" Oh, so he wants to know what that is.、Mm. And Edward says, "Hey, I'm not going to tell you everything." He also adds, "Maybe you can share the surprise with your audience." Now, of course, this makes sense because why would you know? We want to see the person's reaction when they unbox everything.、Right. If he already knows what's in it, then it's not, not so、surprised. it's not so interesting.、Mm. Now, we'll learn about what extra stuff this edition of Abbey Road contains in day two. And it's not spoiling anything to say that Freddie will accept Edward's product and make a video of it. Right now, though, we're going to go to our for you chat question. For you chat. So the question relates to what was going on today, and asks what are some types of products you've seen being promoted by bloggers or online figures, and what did they do to show the product? 
There are a lot of bloggers and YouTubers mm -hmm. promoting cosmetics. Yes, that's true. Mm. Um, uh, my wife follows a lot of uh, nail artists on yeah. Instagram to or look make, at what they're or, doing. Yeah, or cosmetic products. Mm -hmm. And they would basically just put on the makeup. Yeah, basically. In front of you and show you how good the product is. Yeah, and they often give those kind of tutorials yes, as well. Yes, tutorials. And so a makeup company might go and say like, hey, while you're doing this, can you use our product and mention our name if you think it's good? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. And I think those bloggers or YouTubers can get free, maybe, samples, yep, products, exactly. or money. Yeah, I've, uh, I've seen a lot of it get done in the computer world. People who are kind of become famous as like online game players. Mm -hmm. You know, they stream on Twitch and yeah. things like that. They will then talk about games or even the computers used to play games on. And they will say, hey, I've we've got this new computer. I'm going to talk about how it plays games, what's good about it, what I don't like so much, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But I mean, celebrities like who are, I guess, bloggers and online figures, you don't know them really unless you're really into that subject. Mm -hmm. so this is a bit different from celebrities just like holding a thing or yes. using a thing or being in an ad. Right. So do you always trust them? Do you to, always trust what they say and what they show you? To online bloggers? Uh, usually yes, mm -hmm. because they have to maintain, whereas a celebrity, you know, it's just they're doing an ad. Yeah. But a blogger or an online figure, you know, they have to kind of keep being like honest. If they mm -hmm. lose that reputation for being real, then they lose their audience. They, they basically lose everything and mm -hmm. they can't carry on doing it. Whereas a celebrity, just like whatever, I'll go and do my next thing. So I would say I'm more likely to trust a blogger or an online figure if they review something and say, yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. Now, they could do this by doing videos. They often will write about it. Uh, they might even go to a special event related yeah. to it, you know, like a makeup show mm -hmm. or a gaming convention, mm -hmm. something like that. They could appear there and say, hey, I'm just talking about this product, something like that. But they generally say, like, I'm not being paid to do this or I did get this for free. I didn't buy it myself mm -hmm. in order to give it an honest review. Yeah. OK, that brings us to the end of day one. But join us again tomorrow to see what we've got in this new copy of Abbey Road. See you then. Bye for now. Bye for now. Public relations, getting the media to pay attention. Hello? Hey, is this Freddie Rosevere? Yes, it is. Can I help you? This is Edward Kim from Sterling Public Relations Agency. Oh, yes. You must be a PR representative. Listen, Freddie, I know you're a popular music blogger. I have a great new product you can feature. What is it? Maybe I can do some kind of video. An unboxing video will be impressive. It's a new album by the Beatles. The Beatles? They broke up 50 years ago. Yeah, of course. But do you know the album Abbey Road? It's just been reissued. It's a special edition for record collectors. What's so special about it? I have a copy of Abbey Road in my collection. I bought it 10 years ago. This one is different. The music was processed through new technology, and it sounds much better. Also, this record comes with special bonus material. Hmm, please tell me. What's this extra stuff it comes with? Hey, I'm not going to tell you everything. Maybe you can share the surprise with your audience. Vocabulary Review Agency I hired an employment agency to interview people and hire workers for me. Representative I can't go to the meeting in Chicago, so I will send a representative to go for me. Impressive Taipei 101 is an impressive building that attracts a lot of attention from tourists and locals. Edition The new edition of the author's old book has an extra chapter that tells us where the characters are today. 
collection. Sally cuts all the stamps off letters she gets from around the world, and keeps them in a collection. Process. The meat is processed in a factory to make it stay fresh for a long time. 智慧小补帖 Issue. Bonus. Triple 